Hi, this is Joachim from Materialize. In this tutorial video, we'll talk about fixing STL errors. In Magix, you can do fixing in three different ways. You can do automatic fixing, you can use the fixing info page where you can find the semi-automatic fixing tools, and when needed, you can use the manual fixing tools. In the pages at the right, we have the part fixing info page. On this page, you get a complete overview of the errors in your SCL file. If it is not automatically loaded, you can click the Update button to run the diagnostics. The Autofix option will usually take care of all the errors in the parts, and it will save you a lot of time and effort. You can either enable Autofix during import, or you can apply it once your parts are imported. All you need to do is import your part here, go to the Fix ribbon, and click on Autofix. With a single click, and in a few seconds, all the critical errors are fixed. We see that we have two remaining overlapping triangles, which are non-critical errors. Normally, the fixing algorithm of Magix is able to fix these errors as well, but the errors on this part were intentionally created for demonstration purposes. Later in this video, we'll see how we can manually fix such errors. Let's undo the automatic fixing and go back to the part fixing info page, which provides a semi-automatic fixing tool that gives more control and flexibility over the fixing process. At every step, the part fixing info page will give us an advice on what to do next. If you click on follow, the advice displayed will be applied. If you wish to intervene or fixing step, you can either automatically fix that type of error via the automatic fixing options in the part fixing info page, or you can go to the page relevant to the specific error. In this case, all the errors have been fixed except for the two overlapping triangles. Let's move to the triangles page. Here we can have a better look at this issue. For this, I'm going to click on Mark in the Overlapping Triangles section. So, here are our overlapping triangles. I'm also going to change to the triangulated view. To fix this, I'm going to use the Move Part Points tool from the Fix ribbon. Here. I'll grab the corner of this triangle and bring it in line with the rest, like this. Let's have a quick look at the part fixing info page and an update on the status. Perfect. Our part is fully fixed and it's ready to be printed. Thank you for watching and please make sure you check out our other tutorial videos. For further questions about our software, please do not hesitate to contact the support line of your nearest materialized office.